What up, YouTube? Kismas Prime here, back at you with another video. Um, just thought I'd film another quick um, predictions video when I have not done it since No Way Out. Um, which is due on Blu-ray and DVD, I think, sometime this week. I could be wrong, I could be right. But um, for those of you that don't know, tonight is the next uh, WWE pay-per-view in the lineup. Um, in the lineup of WWE pay-per-views. And, um, that pay-per-view is none other than Money in the Bank. Um, I will admit, Money in the Bank is probably, if not, my favorite, um, Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Um, I mean, SummerSlam's good, WrestleMania's good, Survivor Series was okay, but I think Money in the Bank is one of my favorites. Now... For those of you that don't know, um, Money in the Bank uh, was invented by was invented and fought originally as a match at WrestleMania, one for both brands, Raw and SmackDown, for the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, 2010, they decided to breach that away from WrestleMania and give it its own pay-per-view, and this is the third annual one. And of course, it's not just around Money in the Bank ladder matches; they do have a couple of other regular matches. Um, like Elimination Chamber, you don't see every match being a set Elimination Chamber or Hell in a Cell, and vice versa. But um, there were um, there were five sh there's five shows on the card, uh, which is kind of a disappointment from last year when there were quite a several. But um, I guess that's what we should expect from these big type of match pay per views with a special type of matchup. Let's go over what's what we know. Um, first of all is the pre-show match. Um, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth versus Hunako and Camacho for the Tag Team Championship. Now, Hunako and recently came into the league back in about late October, early November 2011, um, after being unmasked as Sin Cara Negro. Um, and Hunako, that is his original ring name from back in Mexico. Um, his partner Camacho is kind of like his uh, ringside buddy. Like Dolph Ziggler with Vicky Guerrero and Bros Clay with Cameron and Naomi. Um, I prefer Kofi and R Truth personally. There, I like them. They're fun. So I'm on them in their corner. Next up is one of that was I actually had a couple of um, choices in this matchup. Um, Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Sandow versus Tyson Kidd versus Christian versus Santino. Versus Lord Tenzai versus Cody Rhodes versus Sin Cara in the SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship Money in the Bank ladder match. This camera is gonna focus a little. There we go. Um, SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match for the World Heavyweight Title. Um, for those of you that know, um, that title was or that that type of matchup um, is exclusive to SmackDown superstars. Um, now, Vicky Guerrero, who was running Raw and SmackDown the week that they started giving people opportunities to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match, um, um, she said that the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match for the WWE title could only be fought by people who were originally WWE champions, and not the current one, CM Punk. Um, she also... <coughs> sorry. But she did say that the SmackDown one would be open to anyone. So, a few people competed. Uh, the last slot was filled past Monday night when Sin Cara defeated Heath Slater. And I'm really happy he got in there. I'm hoping that he doesn't break his darn... He doesn't get powerbombed through another ladder again. Um, but I'm personally for a couple different people in this matchup. Um, definitely Sin Cara. Um, everyone should know I'm a huge Sin Cara fan. Definitely him. Cody Rhodes? Kinda. I kinda have my ups and downs with him. Um, Sin... Tensai, um, I would like to see him, maybe. Um, Santino Morella, definitely. That dude is hilarious. I love Santino. Um, Christian, never really liked him. Tyson Kidd, never got involved with him. Damian Sandow, uh-uh. I don't need a self-proclaimed intellectual savior of the masses. No. Uh-uh, nope. Dolph Ziggler, hell no. Um, I hate Dolph Ziggler, I hate... Vicky Guerrero and anyone associated with Vicky Guerrero. I hate their souls. And I'm hoping that 
Dolph Ziggler doesn't get his little bits anywhere over that Money in the Bank contract, because I will be pissed. Um, I've currently missed it. I'll have to catch a rerun tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I'll get the chance to watch it. Hopefully I won't find out the results tomorrow night on Raw, if I have to at least. But at least it's close to the 1,000th episode. Now for one that was no contest for me. Um, Sheamus vs. Alberto Del Rio with Ricardo Rodriguez for the World Heavyweight Championship. Um, I never really liked Alberto Del Rio. Um, I don't know why, but you know, I never really liked him. Um, I was there this huge rivalry going on with Sin Cara? I'm like, you know, what I'm saying there's room for only one Mexican superstar. Um, I still really like Del Rio, but Sheamus, I think he deserves that World Heavyweight Title. Since he clutched out Daniel Bryan's hands at WrestleMania, he deserves it. And I think he should hang on to it. So I'm, de I'm definitely in Sheamus' corner. Uh, now for the other Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, John Cena versus Kane versus Big Show versus Chris Jericho for the Monday Night Raw slash WWE Championship Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, now, for those of you who know, um, this is John Cena's first Money in the Bank ladder match where he is in the matchup at itself. Um, he has been in situations where he's held a title and someone has cashed in their Money in the Bank contract on him to defeat him and claim their title. And Daniel Bryan was running around saying that if John Cena should get his hands on that contract, he's going to be the first person to cash it in and lose. I disagree. Ten out of ten times, a new champion has been crowned. 100% um, of the time. Um, I like Cena, probably good going for him. I despise Jericho. Um, I don't really like Big Show anymore since he turned heel. I liked him when he was face, not heel. And Kane, oh, he's okay in my book, but not enough to root for him in this matchup. Definitely, probably John Cena, or maybe even Kane would be my choices, but not Big Show or Chris Jericho. Definitely not. Now for what I believe is the main event of... Money in the Bank, if not the main event. Um, CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan in a no disqualification match for the WWE Championship with special guest referee AJ, the Diva. Um, now, for those of you that know, um, up until the time over over the limits, um, there's been kind of a love triangle thing going on. Um, Daniel Bryan broke up with AJ after WrestleMania, thinking it's her fault that, that it cost her. The, w, the World Heavyweight title. Um, Punk showed her some support. Even when it says, I did crazy chicks, which has become quite a popular quote in WWE. And then Kane gets into the picture, and one night she looks at him with a bright grin on her face and says that, you know, he, she sees goodness in him. He even leaps into her, his arms one night and kisses him in front of a thousand fans. And that does man say, I'm out. Um, and they've had, she's had a pretty big, big role between Punk and, and Daniel Bryan lately. Um, she's been interfering a lot, and if you remember a couple weeks ago, she actually pushed, um, Punk and Bryan through a table, and, um, AJ proposed to Punk, and Bryan pro proposed to AJ, um, to walk out with no one, with a slap to the face proving that I'm on no one's side now. There's gotta be a method to our madness, but... Between Punk and Daniel Bryan, um, again, no contest. I'm always for CM Punk. Um, I'm hoping that when... I'm hoping that, you know, tomorrow on Raw, if Daniel Bryan's prancing around chanting, Yes, 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 he doesn't have that title around his waist. Because if he does, I won't be seeing him. I'll see Punk, though. I won't see Daniel Bryan. But, um... Yeah, um, now this is the... Second to last paper. This is the last pay per view before we get to probably one of the flagship pay per views of the WWE, which is SummerSlam, which is being held for the umpteenth time, or who knows how long, in my in Los Angeles, California, at Staples Center. Now we don't know anything about this yet. Um, all we know about is that Triple H challenged Brock Lesnar to a match. At over the at no way out for SummerSlam, and Paul Heyman, who is Brock Lesnar's public official, um, told Triple H live via satellite on Raw that Triple that Brock Lesnar would 
and I quote, give Triple H his answer at the 1000th episode of Raw, which is currently in eight days. Um, not this Monday, but next Monday, the 23rd. Um, we've been hearing a lot of buzz about the, the 1000th episode of Raw lately. Um, Charlie Sheen's a social media ambassador, whatever the hell that is. Um, everyone's picking out their favorite Raw moments. Uh, The Rock's coming back. Maybe The Undertaker? Who knows? But it's definitely going to be an epic night, besides the fact that it's since three hours, permanently. And SmackDown's not far behind, with like 682 episodes. But, um, those are my predictions for Money in the Bank, as well as my current thoughts on the 1000th episode of Raw. Um, if you guys get your opinions, by all means, drop them in the comments. I'm open to suggestions, as well as opinions, of my fans and subscribers. But I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.